Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this Hoover Power Scrub XL Pet Carpet Cleaner. We're gonna talk about it for a little bit and then we're gonna go right over to the carpet and we're gonna see how well it cleans. So this is a really nice carpet cleaner. Uh, we're gonna lift the dirty water tank, clean water tank, but we also have a concentrated solution. So you're only gonna put in this one, in this tank, just kind of tilt it forward. You're only gonna put fresh water. You don't add any solution to this. It's got a nice cap here. You can put hot water in there. Just don't put boiling hot water in there. Rotate it back in, push it down. This one, you're gonna fill it up with Hoover. Um, this is concentrated solution. You're gonna fill this up at full strength with concentrated solution. Come around back, click it into place. The machine, when I press the trigger up here at the top, that's gonna release solution down here, but the machine is going to mix it, the, the concentrated and the fresh water itself. I have a button here, I have a lever, deep clean, and a quick clean. Quick clean, when I press the trigger, it's not gonna put as much solution down. All right, let's take a look. We have, it comes with this hose. So I can, if I wanna do some spot cleaning on the, in the carpet or like say on an upholstery or something, lift this up, simply attach this. It's gonna have suction and solution. There. When I press the trigger, I'll get solution and I got good suction. It comes with this nice bag that's got vent holes in it when I, and I can hang it on the back here. It's nice and dry when I'm all done. Press the release button on the front. This is gonna come out. So let's put this off to the side. Um, here, again, here's the dirty water tank. This is kind of the trickiest part. Look, kind of lift up on it. You're gonna take this over the sink. Here's the latch. Empty it out. I like that you can get this all nice and clean. Once in a while you have to take this out and there might be some hair on there or something. There's a, when that, when that plunger comes up, the machine's gonna change. You'll hear the suction, it's not as good anymore. That means the water is full because the plunger came up and the red dot is there. So put the front in first. Now we're simply gonna put this in, push it down till it clicks. Now I gotta take that back out. We can take this apart a little bit. Simply this part here, just rotate this off. This is the suction uh, tube. I can take this over the sink, get it all nice and clean. But another really neat feature is these release buttons right here, and this comes off. This is the counter rotating um, five brushes. I can take this over the sink. I can get this all nice and clean. I can clean this area if I need to, but this is a really neat feature when I'm done. Line it up and click it into place. I love when carpet cleaners come apart. Let's put it back together. Let's rotate these, put the ears in, rotate it. Make sure that's nice and flush. Let's put this back in. Round back, it's got book controls. That releases the handle, there's the trigger. Then you turn it on or off with foot controls. That's really nice. Here's the cord. You're gonna wrap it around here for cord storage. And it does have a 10 amp motor. So let's go see how well it cleans on some carpet. Okay, we got a really big mess here. Grape juice, a chocolate syrup, and some ketchup. I've got it on deep clean. Let's see how well it does. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna press the trigger going forward. Then I'm supposed to release the trigger going backwards. All right, going forward. It rolls really easy. Let's go over here. Seems to be doing a good job. Now I'm gonna do suction only. Ok, 
Okay, so there's a little bit of the grape um, juice stain in there. I might want to pre-treat that with something. You know, the carpet is a little damp, but not too bad considering how much I went over that. Okay, so let's treat those stains a little bit more. Let's connect the hose. Make sure you push it in until it snaps. We're gonna turn the machine on. I got solution. And suction. Again, solution. And I can really scrub with this. Okay, so let's clean the hose. I got just a um, bowl of water. Got it air dry. Press the button and take it off and you're ready to go. Okay, so say you wanna get, say there's a bunch of soap in your carpet and you just wanna do fresh water rinsing, take the solution tank off. Now, when I pull this trigger, I won't get the mixture. I'll get just fresh water. Then I can rinse this carpet and get it nice and clean with the soap residue not in it anymore. And again, if I switch this to quick clean, it just doesn't put as much solution down. Here's my clean water, just rotate it, take it over, fill that up with clean water, kind of set it there, rotate it back. Let's take this over and clean this out. There's that, I like, I can, I can take this over to the sink, I can get this all nice and clean. Okay, so this retails for $200, I'll put a link to it right underneath the show description notes, I absolutely love it. It's got little quirks taking the, t the dirty water tank in and out, but I'm getting used to it. I thought it did a really good job. I did treat that at the end with Folex, instant carpet cleaner. That stuff works amazing on carpet. It got that grape jelly out or that grape. I will be comparing this to their older one. They've got an older one that has the spinning brushes that rotate in a counterclockwise fashion. This looks like the updated version of that. I thought the hose worked really well. I liked that it. it comes with a bag to keep everything in. Again, I bought this with my own money. I'll put a link to it right underneath the video. If you click on it, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of supporting my channel. That way I can buy these products and give you a completely honest review. I love the features of the solution tank and the clean water tank being separate. I love foot controls. I love being able to take the brushes off the bottom. Would I spend $200 on this carpet cleaner? Yes, yes I would. So be sure and check me out over on Instagram. I do free giveaways on Instagram and my Facebook group page. Look for my logo just to add videos. I also do lots of robot vacuum cleaner reviews. This is the Eufy X10. I absolutely love it. I got lots of reviews on it. I also just did the Narwhal. I got the Dream L10S. That's the Frio Ultra, brand new, love it. Uh, the Q Revo by Roborock. They got a brand new Q Revo coming out, so I'll get it. I buy these with my own money. That way I can give you an honest review. Would I buy it? S8, nah, not so much. Dream L20, that thing was a $1,200 vacuum. Uh, yes, I would buy it, yes. Over here, Roborock Q5, yep, that's a good one. Eufy L60, Dream, or Eureka, Rob or iRobot. I do lots of technical reviews. Here I got the Bissell Pro Heat 2X, getting ready to come do a comparison with it. And I got the $1,200 Dyson. Would I buy that? I've got a video on that. You know, that's definitely a no. It does an okay job. Roomba J7 combo, love it. Q7, real Barack. Cuisinart just released a brand new coffee maker. This is, I think, a Target. And I had to get this at Target. This is Keurig brand new K-Mini Go. And Keurig released another one. This is a $500 Keurig. Yeah, this was just released. I forgot the name of it already, but I will be doing an unboxing and review. I also have here the beautiful this is at Walmart, the Slim Espresso Maker. I got some other carpet cleaners, got the Kenmore. I'd like to do vacuum cleaner reviews and comparisons and also some Bissell Spin Mops. Shark just released a brand new uh, carpet cleaner. These are, the, these are the old ones, they're not too old, but they got a brand new one that was on Amazon. I just ordered it. It looks about the same, but it doesn't have the hose attached to it. I also branded my own coffee. It's available in whole bean, ground coffee, 
and K-Cup. It's a Brazilian dark roast with some dark chocolate notes. It's available at justadadcoffee.com or right below the video. It's even Miss Fiona approved. Oh, somebody's intrigued. I got a treat. You want a treat? Come here. She just got it from a nap. Come here. Yes, you want a treat, don't you? Let me put the back. Oh, you're going to go back upstairs. <laughs> Thanks for watching.